Hi, this is Kathy Mintier. I'm here with the Barrel Racing Discussion Forum. We're here with producers today. We have with us Erin Burnham, and she's with BPH. Erin, tell us a little bit about BPH. Um, well, my husband and I started BPH Productions about two years ago. Um, he, we both have production work experience in the past, working for different companies, and NRS actually called Clay and asked if we would take over their weeknight jackpots for the team ropings and um, just kind of have a residency here. We handle all the weeknight events here. And um, so we did that for about a year and then they asked us if we would take over the barrel races as well. And we had done a handful of weekend races, but um, it was about a year ago that we went ahead and took over the weeknights as well. So um, that's about how we got started. And that is, that's what we do for a living. That's how we make our living. Um, we put on ropings all over North Texas and do barrel races here at NRS. So what role does BPH play in the barrel racing industry? I feel like we provide a good quality barrel race to go to every week. Um, we can run 12 months a year regardless of weather because we have great parking, we have this great covered facility, we have covered warm-up. So I feel like um, it is a consistent solid, well-ran barrel race with good, safe ground that girls can count on to come every Tuesday night. Okay, another question. Where do you see the barrel racing industry going? Um, well, there's a lot of different directions. Um, I think the most progress that's made here recently is probably in the futurity industry um, as far as the, the pink buckle that is coming, coming forth here recently. Um, future fortunes, of course the big money is, is there at the Futurities. We've started to have some bigger races that are that are open, that are higher entry fees, higher payout, more money added. Um, with as much as we spend on our horses to go and haul and enter, it's, it's nice to be able to go and actually win a decent amount of money <laughs> for everything that we spend to get there. Um, I look at, I compare it to team roping a lot, I know I shouldn't, but I do. And, you know, my husband can go spend three hundred dollars in entry fees and win five thousand dollars in two hours. And you know, I, I know that barrel racers are a lot more conservative with their money and don't really want to spend that. But you know, if the industry could eventually turn that way, it would be phenomenal. And I think I think with the futurities and this pink buckle deal, Revolution Barrel Racing is doing a really good job with it as well. Um, it's it's a it's a step in the right direction. Um, it's where we can start running for some serious money one day. So how do you feel BPH plays or fits into what you have just mentioned about the future of barrel racing? Um, well, we're hoping, like uh, right now we're just doing weeknight barrel races. Um, we're hoping to hopefully start doing some bigger stuff in the future on weekends. Um, but I feel like right now we provide a good place to come weekly for girls to come train. They can bring, those futurity girls can bring a trailer full. They can come get all the exhibitions they want. Um, they, can, they can get ready for those races here. And they can count on us to be here every Tuesday night. And they know we run rain or shine, cold or hot, and the ground's always safe and dependable, so. So what barrel races do you currently have for this year and what future races have you planned? Um, we are currently running every Tuesday night. Um, we we always have a series of some sort dates vary but we're here tuesday night every week um with an exception of a few cancellations here and there but and then we've got a big three-day weekend barrel race planned for september that we will hopefully be releasing information on that end of this month excellent so where can barrel racers find your races like do you have facebook instagram website yes we have a facebook bph productions and we also have a website bphproductions.com and we have a calendar on that website that stays updated and then we have flyers posted on our facebook and we have the cover photo is always our monthly weeknight events as well well Erin, we'd really like to thank you for taking your time to talk to the barrel racing discussion forum and we appreciate everything that you do yeah. for the industry well we thank you all as well and thank you for coming out and being our official photographer every tuesday night joe thank you